very lovely morning in Denmark. Hopefully this time the sun will not immediately come up and start shining right on me this time. Although actually, looking at it, it might happen again. So we'll see, man. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, today's topic is going to be the barbell hip thrust. And it's, this is so, I mean, it's really silly that this has to be, you know, a debate in the fitness industry. For those that don't know, the barbell hip thrust is a pretty simple exercise. Uh, essentially, you have your shoulders on some kind of elevated, you know, bench or a step or something, and you have your feet on the floor, and you're basically doing, uh, you know, you're, you're hip thrusting, like, you know, you're, you're just jamming your pelvis in the air. It looks like you're, you know, like trying to have sex with something. Um, but in this case, the something is the barbell, because you have the barbell on your hips. Um, it can also be done with dumbbells, uh, there's, you know, there's other ways to load it. Um, you know, you can do it with bands uh, around the waist as well. And it looks very similar to the glute bridge, which a lot of people know, except, you know, a little bit dirtier, a little bit more, uh, you know, terrifying. So, uh, you know, it's a little, some people don't like to do it around other people. Uh, you know, they find it a little bit awkward and that's fine. You know, it happens. It is a little bit awkward, you know, honestly. But the, for those that don't know that much about it, it was essentially, you know, invented or, you know, maybe invented is the wrong word, but it was popularized by Brett Contreras, who is, you know, a pretty good researcher who, you know, does a lot of research on exercises. And he's, you know, he's branded himself the glute guy, and it's his big thing, you know, he sells, you know, devices for it, he, you know, it, it's his, it's his big thing, and that's, you know, that's fine, um, you know, everyone needs to have a stick, I guess, in the end. Um, so, Brett has done a lot of, you know, EMG work, he's determined that it's an extremely effective exercise for building the glutes, if that's your goal, and, you know, it may be better than the squat or the deadlift in doing so. That's awesome. It also, you know, may be more useful for certain athletic activities, including running, uh, simply because essentially the, the the line of force on the hip thrust is, is identical to essentially the line of force, you know, when you're going running. You know, when you're running, you're trying to move, you know, uh, you know, horizontally to the ground, and not vertically, which is what you're seeing with the squat and deadlift. Uh, versus the hip thrust is, uh, I mean, it's loaded vertically to the ground, but your body is horizontal to the ground, so it, you know, reverses it. So, the hip thrust may be more effective in training certain things like sprinting and running and so on. Now, um, the reason that it's come up again is that there's been this debate, I don't even want to call it that, um, essentially in which a guy posted a article saying that the hip thrust was dangerous if you're maxing it out. You shouldn't do it to a one rep max or anything similarly heavy. And, uh, you know, he doesn't use it with any of his athletes for that reason. Now, I read the article. It makes it certainly makes some good points. And those good points include the fact that, you know, you don't have to do any specific exercise if it, you know, if it causes issues for you. You can always find something else to do. Um, you know, it may not be optimal. It may not be the, the single best choice. But you can still do things. You can still, you know, get things done. Now, the problem is, he goes on to make some really goofy statements that are not very scientific at all. At one point, he says, if an exercise was, was uh, you know, extremely damaging to just 5% of your athletes, that would still be a reason never to use it at all with anybody. And I, take, I hugely disagree with that statement, because obviously, if it works just fine for 95% of the people, you can use it with those 95% of the people. There's no point in just making this blanket recommendation that you should never use it just because 5% of the people, you know, can't use it. Um, you know, if you can use it with certain people, use it with those people. If you can't use it with other people, don't use it with those people. That's, you know, it's, it's you know, it's, it's not too hard to understand. Um, I think that, you know, when you are in an athletic training facility where you have a lot of athletes to manage, yes, sometimes for the sake of simplicity, it may be easier to go with, you know, sort of that 95%, uh, you know, and make that sort of all or nothing choice simply because you don't want to have to spend the time individualizing and choosing, you know, who gets what. I understand that. That's fine. Um, but saying the statement, you know, the blanket statement that you should never use it just because it doesn't work with 5% of the people that's, you know, again, that's absurd. And I don't, you know, back that statement up at all. And, uh, 
And yeah, so in the article, he goes on to basically say, you know, you shouldn't do it super heavy. You shouldn't do it for one rep maxes. Um, and, and of course, the even crazier thing is that, you know, Brett himself has made a similar, you know, statement. He said, you know, that a lot of people may just want to focus on, you know, higher reps and lower weights because it is a little bit awkward for your body. You do need padding to ensure that the bar isn't, you know, just crushing your, your, uh, your hips. And, uh... You know, it's it's just, it's silly that, again, it's silly that this had to become a debate because then, of course, Brett has to reply to it again and be like, no, that's wrong, and now he's made a video about it and all this other stuff. The point, again, is it's 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 a hip thrust, guys. It's, it's an exercise. You know, you can use it if it works for you. You don't have to if it doesn't. That's really all there is to it. So, you know, that's that. <laughs> and if you are looking for a new exercise to help build your glutes, Check it out. Check out the hip thrust. Check out Brett's work. Brett does great work, and uh, I I reference his site a lot. I cite him a lot just because he's he's done a lot of good stuff over the years. So you know that's that's all there is to it. Anyway, as always, like, comment, share. Tell me what you want to see in future videos. I will talk to you guys next time. Looks like the sun did come up. Here it is, it's shining in my eyes again. So that's exciting. Happens. All right. Have a good one, everyone.